Right, welcome back to AJP Garden Machines and in today's video you can see a bit of it here and we're having a look at a Challenger Extreme uh, Petrol Mower XSS 40A So, last video we did the Challenger Extreme Strimmer and this video I'm going to be having a look at a Challenger Extreme Lawn Mower So, let's get into this Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to check see if it's got spark. So I'll put my little uh, spark plug tester only three pound off Amazon. I shouldn't really do it on the desk, but let's have a look. Oh, there we go. We've got spark. As you can see. So that's uh, so. What we'll do now is check the air filter. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and get this video done pretty quick as well. Because the weather outside is not bad. We've got absolutely drowned walking up here due to my car being off the road at the moment. Air filter, that looks pretty new. Don't look bad. A bit smelly. Don't look bad. Um, so what I think I might do is just try and fire this because there's no fuel actually in the tank. Uh, do, 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 do. You can't really see, but there is no fuel in now. What about if I put always on? Ha, there we go. And you can see no fuel in there. Pretty dry in there. So what I might do is put some petrol in and bit of oil it may have been tipped upside down so what we'll do now actually is check the oil which is just here at the back I'll check that see what that's like looks like it may have been tipped up it needs a good clean up as well get a rag just gonna wipe it off put it back in I'm enamoring cats and dogs. See if we've got any oil in here. It's on the minimum mark. So I'm just going to add a bit to there. Just to be on the safe side. Um, oh yeah. Right, I'm going to prime it three times. It says, but this priming hole seems like it's doing nothing to be fair. I might have to look at that, I don't think it's going to start. Let's see what we've got compression wise, see what it sounds like. And that was running quite low. Seems like no fuel getting through properly. Seems like only when I but if I press that prime button again. That's pushing fuel through a little bit. Like so should start again. Right. Now we're going to take the carb off and have a look what's behind it in here. I'll whack that off. Could be something to do with the springs because it will rev enough. That was nowhere near running level unless it's got an automatic choke of some sort. Not sure. No, so. Grab that off my uh, socket centre. These two bolts. Right, 
There's a third bow bolt on here on these ones as well. You can see mainly it's hands at the moment. That's why I like to use the extension lead just so you can see a bit more. And there's another little one just set, which is tight. There we go. Breather pipe that holds the pump these two out like that. There's a breather pipe. There's a breather pipe. I'll just pull that out like that. And see. Put that over to the side now. Leaving the screws where they come out as well, it just makes it easier when it comes to put it back together. So. <sighs> One thing we haven't got is some way of capping the petrol. Well that's dodgy straight away. Okay bit of electrical tape on there so it looks like there's been an issue with a primer bulb so hmm okay so what we'll do is get this clip away which you can do quite, and quite easy on these ones that spring don't look right that spring don't really look right to me see how it's just attached to the top there Hmm, okay. Some type of broken bit of spring there. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take that off. See if I can get this fuel pipe off. Going to be fuel coming out now. Right, so just need a way of. Blocking that off. Just need to get a clip. Hold that for me, please. Like that. Okay. I'll just pick that up there out of the way. That'll do. Right, so. A closer look at these springs. That does not look right. I don't know, it might be. Not sure. So, I'm going to whack it fully off now. We get the pipe off there. There's definitely something wrong with this primer bulb. That pipe. Both sides. Hopefully I've got a bit of pipe knocking about so we can replace it. If not, I'm going to have to order some in. Um, the governor seems to be working alright, so we will just take that off there. And that's the culprit we want to clean up. A bit cruddy. What we'll do is I'm going to pause you for a minute and let's get set up on the other one. Right, there's something a bit dodgy about the fuel what's come out of here. To me, that looks like four stroke. No, uh, two stroke. Somebody's put two stroke in. I, f I believe. Let me just get rid of it. Move that mower back a bit. Yeah, you can see. That's red. Normal fuel's not meant to be red. Okay. So I think we've found an issue. Let's have a look. If it's going to come off, that will. And yeah, just watch this one. This one's got a little washer on. That's red. Oh, God. That is red. So, I'm not sure if this thing's going to run correctly because that is red. That might have been why it was cutting out. See if I can whack this off. This is oh, right. Let me just we're back in one second. Let me... That was a stubborn bolt. Okay, so it's not bad, but 
it's definitely two stroke the view the view is two stroke in here let's look down there turn the light off it might be a bit better turn it off it's going to focus is. yeah so if it's two stroke who the hell does that that's a new one Right, so what we do now is wipe this little pin out. Not there. Not over there. Now, am I going to be able to get the main jet out? That's the question. That's a bit cruddy in there. Let me see if I've got a screwdriver. I need to sort out my tools so I can access it. Phillips or something. Um. Right, so I'm going to try and get this out now. Hopefully, it will defrag because this is what we like to do. I like to try and defred. That's what I've got. And if I can't get it out, I'm just going to have to try and blow through. Because I don't want to wreck it. That's the main pink come out right and this is loose. Hopefully it comes right out, sometimes I don't. You can batter these things up a bit. There we go. There's our main jet. Right, it does look like it's clogged. So I'll need, what I'm going to have to do is put all these out of here for a second. Uh, that's that. This gasket will not come off. I'm, don't want to take that off because that will probably I don't know if it's going to come off nice and easy oh there we go there we go it's come off easy okay um so what we'll do now is give this all a clean through with some carb spray yeah Right, what I'm going to do first of all is get rid of this two stroke. Looks like we've had a murder on the blooming. on the go. Right, mess. Oh, who's done this? Stupid! Now what I'm going to do is just clean up the area, get all of the stuff away. Get all of the bits and bobs away for the reassembly. Not exactly the cleanest environment anyway, so let clean this off. help with uh, help with cleaning it and putting it back together keeping it clean so uh, just going to give it one last spray of carb spray just in case any dirt's gone on to it I 
that's the last spray, we we'll carb spray and put it there. All the other bits and rubs, just one last spray. Just to make sure. Right. Grab a rag now. Just try and dry them as much as I can. Just trying to get this done quick. I can get out of the garage before it gets the weather gets too bad. Hopefully now it's out of the carb, it should run right, fingers crossed. And then all I need to do with this machine is um I'm gonna do it with the camera again just to make sure you can see. So the camera can go there now. To make sure you can see. Okay. Right. So this jet first of all back into there. Try and keep it straight. Why did I put the screwdriver now? There it is. Right and just screw. Push it down and then start screwing it back in. You have to be really careful with this jet. Because this is the one that can bite and Fold to pieces. I've had it happen to me a few times with this one. So just nip it up, that's it, as you can see, it's back in there. And now we'll put the little flouter jet back on. And just back in that little hole there. Float. Come on, that's it, sit down, that's it, as you can see, it's back in there. Grab the float before I put to wipe off before and and up back in to there. And put that. And a little quick way. Hopefully you can see me. Can you see me? My face. Right. Quick way of knowing if this is working right. If you're holding it down, that's the equivalent of it being full. A bit nasty carbs, bro. That's equivalent of it being full. And then when it's down, it allows you to blow for it. That's one way you know that's working right. Eek. So nice. Push this off. Put the bowl pins. The bowl. The bowl is a lot cleaner, but just can't get that crud off the bottom. Put the bowl back on. We got that wash one goes into there, which was a pain to get off. And the smaller one goes into there. We'll just nip these up back up. Ten mil. Right, so that's them nip back up, that's the carb cleaned. So now my attention goes to here. I think them springs could be right. I'm not 100% sure. Because I am on the governor arm. Yeah, I think it is right, actually. I think the issue was having the four stroke oil. That must have been why it was so oily around here. So, what I'm going to do now is just give this a bit of a, a clean. Just to wipe it off. Because there's a lot of oil around here. Oil residue. Which it shouldn't be. Right, so that's a bit cleaner. I'm going for a showroom condition, it's a mower. So, <coughs> what we're doing now is Right, 
will uh, whack the see if I've got any pipe to repair that bit right so find a bit of pipe it looks about the same dimension just put it back in there so, try getting it on there first it's clear pipe so at least we'll be able to see it going in this time Get on as far as we can without snapping the thing. All you can see at the moment is my hand, but turn on the light, you should be able to see a bit better. Getting it onto there, Just manipulating it on. That's that. So, what we'll do now is whack it back on. I'll try and keep you there and put you on time lapse and me point it back on. So hopefully that time lapse just worked because I've just turned my phone off by mistake. It feels like it's working but I can't seem to see anything going through. Okay, we'll have to just see what happens. So what we'll do now, get back down on the ground and see what we can do. See what it does now. This doesn't seem like it's doing much to be fair. It's primer still. I really don't know what's wrong with that. Have a look, see what it does. Right, I'm going to give it neck on this um, extreme for today, but I'm going to release this video anyway just to ask for help. Um, it doesn't seem to be priming right as, at all. As enough fueling, it's topped up, and it's just not priming. As you can see. So if anyone knows what this could possibly be, please let me know. Thanks. Right, thanks for watching this. Um, yeah. Uh, last night, I spoke on Mick Mower's, um, I put a left comment on Mick Mower's live, and he said it could be, fuel stabiliser, I said it could be. So, it could be that, and he said just give the carb a couple more cleans, and, and see what happens there. So, we'll try that, so check out Mick Mower's, his link is in the description. And also, this morning I was... Uh, doing my rounds watching the videos watch roy's video and then i watched um mower man's and he had the same type of event i think it was the same engine i think this is an sv150 and on the top of a carburetor there's a spring uh where like where the throttle lever goes and on mine i remember touching it and it seemed like it was sticking out i thought it was a broken spring so I'm going to have to try and wrap that round like you showed in the video. So I'll leave his description, yeah, yeah, description, his link to his channel in the video description as well. So yeah, uh, stick about for part two. I am going to get this running. We'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.